Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. In the previous video, you tagged along for a day in the life of an account executive to make a sale. But today, we're joining Stealthy Wood's other big maker of phone calls, the support team. Since the team offers support over the phone, Odoo's voice over IP feature, or VOIP for the lovers of letters, is a vital tool for our support agents. VOIP gives them access to a phone that they can use at their desks. Other benefits include, but also aren't limited to, improve customer satisfaction, reduce cost, and the all-important ability to navigate the Odoo database while taking a call. Odoo's VOIP module can even handle call queues, so no call gets missed. Setting up VOIP in Odoo is simple. And once it's set up, you can also manage greetings and voicemails in case someone calls outside of your working hours. So today, I'm in the queues with the support staff to help some folks out. So enough chit-chat. Let's go log in. Okay, so here we are on the database's homepage. Now, since starting my shift inside of the call queue can happen on any page, we're going to begin by opening up our VOIP widget, which is up at the top. Looks like a little phone, so it makes it easy. Then we're going to join our actual call queue as an agent by opening up our dial pad, bottom left over here, and we're going to type in my agent connection code, which is star five five, trying to remember it fully, two, nine, four. Then we hit the call button right there. And then we allow all of that to happen. And boom, I'm gonna hear a quick recording to let me know that I've connected to the support queue as an agent. We're now in a pool of support agents ready to answer customer calls. The routing rules a supervisor configures will determine how calls are received. I'm gonna talk more about this in the call queues video, so make sure to check that out as well. But now that we're inside of the queue, let's start working on a customer support ticket. Okay, so we're going to actually head into our help desk app over here. All right. And since we need to work on some customer care tickets, we're going to go to our customer care over here and select the but tickets button right there. Okay, um, I see one that's pretty bad. Missing order, Paul Smith. It looks like Paul wants me to call him ASAP. Okay, let's get that done. So we're going to go over here to the chatter. And I'm going to click on our activities button up in the top right because... I want to schedule a time to call him. So I'm going to pick call as our activity type right there. I'm going to set the due date for, well, let's pick today. I want this to be urgent. I'm going to set a quick reminder note over here. And it's just going to be follow up with this customer for missing order. All right, it's pretty simple. Okay, finally, let's select schedule right there. And we're going to see it right there up over here in the chatter. And, ooh, what's this? I actually noticed something happening almost immediately for me. I think I'm getting, yep, there it is. I was hearing the notification. We're having a call right now from the queue. Okay, we can actually answer it by clicking on the green call button right there. And then let's assume after talking with the customer, it sounds like they need some help getting info from DHL, which is Stefan's specialty. So let's transfer them over. So we're actually gonna select this nice little double arrow thing over here and we're gonna type in 2787 over here and then we're gonna select transfer. Boom. And when we do, that call ends for us and it continues for Stefan. Cause that's how we forward it. All right, where were we? Oh, that's right. Back over to Paul. Let us actually close this out real quick. Now we want to call Paul today since this is a high priority ticket. So to do that, can actually click on his phone number from the chatter that we have right there and you'll notice actually this is over here we have the option to call sorry in the chatter we actually can also just click it and immediately we can call them isn't that super useful of doers okay let's assume that at this point we've been chatting for a while and i needed to log some notes by going over here to the chatter and in this case i'm going to log a note and just say the call Went fine, just seemed frustrated. All right, perfect, we're gonna log that right there. It's not too bad. Now, if I wanted to, I could also prepare the follow-up email by selecting send message over here up at the top left. However, it sounds like he just needs his address changed. He's just moved. So in order to do that, if you see over here, we just select a nice little person icon right there up at the top, and we could immediately edit this directly. We don't have to go anywhere else. And we save that right there. Okay, now that it's been updated, I also wanna make sure he ends up with this package. So I need to schedule a follow-up call. So once again, we're gonna open up the VOIP widget again, select our clock. This time it's gonna be a call that we're gonna set up for 
a week from today. We're going to call this one package check. Make sure the package arrived. Okay, once that we're done with that, we just select schedule right there up at the top. Boom, perfect. Paul's all set. So if we needed to, if we had called him in this type of case, we would now just select the end button right there. And that's it. Now to make sure that the follow-up is scheduled, let's refresh our page just to make sure with a nice little hearty refresh. And when we do all of that, you'll notice we'll see the scheduled call as well as the one that was wrapped up. Okay, now that we have finished and we're all done with our shift, we're gonna leave the call queue. And to do so, we're gonna open up our dial pad once again over here, and we're going to type in our disconnect code, which happens to be star five, six, I'm trying to remember this one, two, nine, four. Perfect. We're gonna call that once again, and we're gonna log off for the day. Boom. Just like that, we're all done. There you have it. Thanks for sticking around while I work the support cues today. Always a delight to have a buddy to keep me company. Thanks for watching.